Hi, hello, and welcome back to another tutorial. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to use the tween service, and, and, um, and we today we're going to make a card reader door, a card reader sliding door. So, let's get started. So, our first part, we're going to name uh, right here. Uh, we're going to name it. You can press F2 on your keyboard once you select it, and you can name it main, just like that. Um, and, uh, that's basically our door done. If you want to add textures, you can. I'm going to just add a random texture I have here. So maybe some rocks, just like that. It doesn't actually have to make sense if you just start testing this out yourself. But if you are, uh, making this into a game, you might want to make it look a little bit nicer. So, what we are going to do is we're going to duplicate this. Okay. You see it shows up right here. Uh, I You can delete the decal if you want to. Um, we're going to set the transparency to 1, which basically makes it completely invisible, if I can uh, show you right here. You see, it's completely invisible. And what we're going to do... Oops, sorry. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn off can collide. So basically, that makes it so we don't... So we um, aren't able to run into the doors. And we're gonna just name this one start, since it is in the start position. And we're gonna name one end. We're gonna duplicate it by pressing Control D. We're gonna name it end. And just drag it over there, just like that. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna group these by pressing Control G, just like that creates a model. And then we're gonna call this one door, just like that. So, now that that's out of the way, we can add our script. And uh, we can leave that there for now. Actually, let's remove this. I'm going to write down functions slash events. Just like that. So, um, next you want to have your keycard reader. Just like that. Um, I named mine keycard reader for the sake of simplicity. And uh, if you want to make it into a group, that's totally fine. Just remember that you have to do its entire address. So we're going to just drag that into door. And we're going to go back into here. So now that everything's set up, we're going to go to, we're going to make our first functions and events. So we're going to do local. Actually, let's add services. So we're going to start with local um, tween service just like that, or tween service, okay, and then we're going to do, I'm going to give you a minute to write that out, and then what we're going to do is we're going to type in game, get service, tween service, so a tip is that you don't want to write it as I write it, just in case I make one of those mistakes, so now that we have that done, we're going to do our info next, so we're going to do local information, um, tween, tween info dot new, and if you press tab, it will show up this little tooltip at the top. Oh, it went away. And all you have to do to bring it back is just, oops, press colon in there, or put a little comma. And we're going to start with the number time. So, let's say this t is going to be, um, two seconds, okay? And it basically gives you how you do it. So we're just going to follow this. So we're going to do the number time. We're going to do enum, which is basically um, defining something as specifically as possible. Dot easing style. Dot cubic. So um, I'm going to put some easings up on the screen in case you can see it. Okay. And we're going to put enum dot easing direction. And I like to do in out because it's nice and smooth. And just like that, you have that part done. Um, doesn't actually, you don't have to know about the number of repeat counts, blue reverses, or anything like that. I can put a article in the description if you really want to read up on that. So, next what we want to do is we are going to actually create our tween. But, we have to set something else up first. So, if you don't have a key card already... I'm going to get myself a key card. I'm just going to look it up. You can look it up in the toolbox. Let's see. Let's see if we can find a key card. SCP level 5 key card. That might work. Um, and if it does come with this up, 
and you want to just press no. And uh, you do want to try to get a tool so you can actually put it into your um, player starter pack, just right there. And check if it does have a handle. And if it does, perfect. Absolutely perfect. Um, make sure it doesn't have any viruses. Look through it. And if there's any um, evil stuff in here, then you go ahead and remove it. You want to be careful for things that have viruses. So, we're going to shove that into... The, oops, not the terrain. We're going to shove this into the starter pack. And um, now that that's done, what we're going to do is we're going to do... What we're going to do is, I'm actually going to duplicate this, and I'm going to name this level 5, just like that. So it's pretty much the exact same thing, just level 5. And what we're going to do is we're going to go back into here, and we're going to start off with defining it, defining the key card when it touches it. So if we do, um, oh, whoops script dot parent uh you can control c that if you do mess up like that we're gonna do script dot parent dot key card reader dot touched so basically this is detecting every time it's touched and we're gonna do connect so this is basically connecting to the server or to the client depending on what you are on uh to create a function which is what this is so I'm going to just delete that one, and it should look exactly like this. I know it might be a little weird. The brackets are going to be a little weird. It's probably going to look like this for you. But you want to delete that last one and just press enter. Just like that. So, now that that's done, what we're going to do is we're actually going to add here P-L-A-Y-E-R. Player. Just like that. Um, or you can do hit. Actually, let's do hit. And so what we're going to do is we're going to do hit.name equal um sorry if hit dot name equals level five okay you gotta put that in level five and it has to be exactly this one exactly that name right there level five and we're gonna trigger it so if hit dot name which is what hits it is equal to level five then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little tween here. So we're gonna do local tween equals. Uh, well, actually, let's do um, open local open equals tween service create. So basically, what this does is we're creating a tween. We're gonna do script dot parent dot main. Okay, that is calling on this one. So we're gonna do this is the script. This is the parent, and this is the the main part and we're gonna do info or uh, information whatever you named it you can name whatever you want really and we're gonna do C frame so you got to put in these little curly brackets but you can do C frame equals script dot parent dot start actually we're gonna do end dot C frame so basically C frame is like the position more a faster and more efficient and reliable way of getting the position and we're basically setting this the main C frame whoops what did I do we're basically setting the mains the main part C frame to equal the end C frame so now that, that is done we're going to do All right, and now we're gonna do open play, just like that. So we're gonna start the tween to play. And um, just like that, I think we'll wait maybe three seconds for it to close again, and we're gonna do the closing. So we're gonna do local close, tween service, tween service, create. And it's basically the same process, script.parent.main, information, C frame equals script dot parent dot start dot c frame and then we're gonna go into next line and do close play so if i'm correct of course if i'm correct this should work but 
Who knows? We'll test it out. So, basically what we're going to do is we're going to stick it up to here. Oh, man. All right. Looks like I didn't do something right. So, we're just going to change this handle. And we're going to um, make sure you have this plugin Easy Weld. Um, it will help you very much in your future uh, future working. Working. So, mm, I'm going to weld this one, the handle, to this. I'm going to make sure that it's drawn in place. Okay. I'm going to make sure this one is not anchored. Okay, cool. It's not anchored. And now, let's see if this works. So, let's play here. And see if everything's all good. I... No. Okay. So, seems like I loaded into the game. Um, uh, so, let's see if it works. So, oh, I put the carve here a little too high. That's why you always want to have a point of reference. And it looks like it's working. So, that's pretty much how you make a card reader. Um, and it works pretty well, too. So, you can do it for both sides, too. All you have to do is... Here, I'll actually show you guys. Um, put the card reader on both sides. So, we're gonna... I think this might pull an error, but we can try it anyway. Well, we'll do it, we'll do it the right way. So, I'm gonna name this one key card reader back just for the sake of this tutorial you can name it whatever you want and we're gonna we can just copy this and add back so now both sides should work pretty simultaneous so um that was how to use the tween service and how to create a door using it with a key card word that's uh, and I use my own decals. If you want to check out my models, I have a bunch of models on my profile. The games for real. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, hope it made enough sense for you guys. And if you again, if you want any any other tutorials, just write a comment.